I think it depends on the type of man you want, though. Because if you're you right. want, if you're you want right. a traditional type of dude, he's gonna want you to be a traditional type, type of woman. Exactly. You know, but if you cool with like a 50-50 type of dude, then yeah, you get a little bit more more leeway. But the difference is, I think the problem women want both. They want a nigga who's traditional when it comes to the money stuff, but liberal when it comes to like um, gender roles and expectations. Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Cause I just wanna build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I wanna keep it real with you. I wanna live better, eat better. I wanna love better, sleep better. Yeah, I wanna feel so aligned. Sublime. What do you feel like men continue to get wrong about women? What's your biggest complaint with us? Cause you sent me a lot of videos. So what's what's the biggest thing you you wish men understood? The biggest thing that I feel like is the fact that women like to argue. You think we think y'all like to argue, mm-hmm. and y'all don't like to argue. No. What the what? Okay, explain it to me. <laughs> so what I mean by that is. <clears throat> Why do you think we like to now don't get me wrong now I know I know that it's women out there that just will just like to say just talk shit for no reason, for no valid reason, just to run their mouth. It's really females out here that just just do this for no reason. I get that. But most times y'all are going to like just assume that along the board regardless. Because, like, for instance, she just want to argue. She just want to argue. So I'm like, I'm very inquisitive. I like asking questions. Why is she arguing? Why is she always upset? What are, What is it? So now we getting into it. So find out that you did this three years ago. This happened. This happened. This All these series of events have happened and shit like that. And now you get to the point where she just won't shut the fuck up. Well, you want to know why? Because she mad. And everything you do is just, she just hates you low key. So it's not even enough. So he should leave her. I mean, yes, point. if you if you don't like that, then yes, because she not doing it for no reason. I don't think she doing it for no reason. I don't think females argue argue like to argue for no reason it's it's a reason for everything i personally that's how i take it because that's how i feel about myself i'm not gonna do nothing for no reason so if you feel like i'm always arguing or I'm always mad or I always got an attitude it's a reason because what did you do to provoke me talking shit all the time or nagging or having an attitude It's a reason for everything. It's a reason behind all that shit. Women do not like to argue. It starts with the y'all. It's something you've done first that it, makes it crosses, her this way. It crosses the line to liking to argue when I think we've resolved whatever the issue was. Mm-hmm. And you keep bringing it up five years from now, ten years from now. So because it can never die. It, the issue can never die. Because it, 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 it surprised you. And, and now... Even if he's doing better, even if she's showing you better, it's still that thing at the back of your mind. Exactly. But that's the, and problem. that's the problem. So we can't move forward. How can we move forward? Because the problem is you shouldn't have did it in the first place. Women do stuff all the time. We forgive y'all. Like what? A bunch of shit. Like what? The way that you talk to us, the way that you act, the way that you take out shit that had nothing to do with me, on me. This, this is stuff men have to deal with. But we have to forgive y'all. We have to assume the best. That's not as damaging as what. But you don't know that's that. That's not as damaging. You don't know that. Compared to what y'all are capable you don't know, of. You don't know that. That's not true. What men are capable of? A woman can make you raise a kid that's not even yours. And you talk about men are capable okay, of more. Okay, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Yeah, listen. That's fucked up. You talk that's about what men. The worst thing though. a man can do is probably like bring back an STD. That's probably the worst thing a man can do. A woman can do all that plus right, make back you... an STD, have a baby on you, constantly cheating, beating your ass. The reason why I said the STD is worse than having a baby on you is that 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 baby doesn't really take money out of your pocket, you know, because it's not your baby. It what takes money the out. Of, 
It takes but, money. It takes money out of his pocket, but it doesn't take your money. What does that saying. have to do with the emotional damage? Everything I name. And that shit. No, okay, everything it's taking, I name it's has taking your time damage. away from him. He now you have to split. He, like now he don't have when it had a baby on you, and you're saying that that's not as bad. What he don't want to have a baby on you. So everything, now you Chelsea, have listen, to. Everything I name has emotional damage. Yes. The reason why I say it's not that bad is because typically you'll hear women, for, for instance, single mothers, they'll say we're a package deal. Single father's not saying we're a package deal. Okay. It's like, that's your baby. Handle that baby. You know, this, this, That's the that. difference between having a baby on somebody, though. That's but if you have a baby about. on somebody, she still knows that's not her baby. She's but, not obligated to that baby. But still, that's your man that done made a whole life outside of your relationship. Do you not think that's not damaging enough outside of the fact you're that not, you're it's not, not even I'm your saying. baby? I'm not saying that's not damaging. Okay, I'm so not, now why you saying, it seems like you're trying to excuse it. No, 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 it seems no, no, like you're no, no, trying no. to like downplay saying, it a little bit. I was bit. saying that's why something like bringing home an STD is worse because you have to deal with that yourself. That's what I'm saying. Or a woman having a baby on you is worse There's, because now you have to raise that baby. But a man having a baby, you don't have to raise that baby. I don't think it's any of those are a matter of what's worse and what's less worse. They all fall into the same category. Do you think like, a woman having a kid, I mean, tricking a guy into thinking it's his kid oh, that's, is the same level is, as a woman, a man having a kid outside? Okay, so I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. On her part, that's worse. That is like the most evil, despicable. Because it's everything that you said. Plus the the deceit and the lie and the yeah, you know what I'm saying that shit is yeah next you level. find out after 18 years that's, that's not your that kid that shit is next level like and then you done spent your money your time like your the family, emotional investment but, yeah. Ooh, shit yeah, yeah that's some that's and some it happens it happens to niggas shit. a lot even, okay even I get in what Nigeria, you're saying it happens to okay niggas. I get what you're saying so my thing is you know I'm all about doing homework. I'm all about, my mom would say prevention is better than cure. So even going back to your okay, point earlier, I like, that. You gotta I like to that avoid down. things. I like to avoid things because again, for me as a man, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I'm not somebody who likes to scare people or none of that shit because I don't play, you know? So I encourage men to be the same way. But outside of that, outside of you think men don't, um, men think women like to argue, what else do you think we're getting wrong? I really can't even tell y'all what you're getting wrong. Because you be complaining about us. You be like, man, this, and we want to keep women down. and this, 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 this. But y'all do, though. <laughs> we got to sit in the corner and be this tiny little fly on the wall while you get to be outside and spread your wings and do all that type of shit. We got to, like, sit in one place. Well, it's places. 2022. I don't think that's going to work no more. Exactly. So but that's again, why people it, who stuck on that need to get out of that and learn how to, like... I think it depends on the type of man you want, though. Because if you, you want, right, if you want right. a traditional type of dude, he's gonna want you to be a traditional type, type of woman. Exactly. You know, but if you cool with like a 50-50 type of dude, then yeah, you get a little bit more more leeway. But the difference is, I think the problem women want both. They want a nigga who's traditional when it comes to the money stuff, but liberal when it comes to like um, gender roles and expectations. So I want him to pay all the bills, but I want him to help me clean. Um. I agree with traditional to an extent. And what's the other one you said? Liberal. Yeah. 50 50. And um, for all that shit, like, I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm perfectly okay being the only one cleaning and doing all the house shit. I'm perfectly okay with that. And because I'm okay with that, it takes a lot of pressure off him, right? I'm okay with that shit. Like, house. Like housework, I'm cool with that shit because it's just a personal thing. I just feel like nobody cleans better than me. If you not, if I'm not gonna clean it, then I don't want to eat from it. I, it's just my own personal thing. So I really don't have a problem with doing housework at all. Trash, dishes, cleaning up after the kids. No, I'm gonna need help with the kids. All the house shit. I really don't have a problem doing all that shit. You need your tie and your shirt ironed before work. I don't have a problem. Like, I'm cool with... That's why I said traditional to a certain extent. Because 
I feel like I speak for all women. No, Lord. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, you know what? No, no, no. Let me take it they back. Let me take it 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 back. Okay, let me take it back. I ain't even going to say all women because, like, I ain't even going to say that. Most women would want somebody who is responsible for at least the big stuff when it comes to bills. I'm not saying that, um... I don't want to pay no bills, but like that, I'm going to just put it like this. I like haven't, I take care of myself on my own. I do whatever for myself, by myself, for myself. And I ain't even going to lie. I see how y'all feel. That shit do get exhausting because it be sometimes, some days I be feeling like, damn, I'm really tired of being independent. I really be wanting somebody to just do all this shit for me. I'm tired of paying to get my own hair done sometimes. I be like, just little shit. Just, But that shit do get exhausting. So when y'all carry all the weight, like I can understand that how like tiring that can be. So it's important for a woman to submit if you doing all that. Like I, I can I can understand the even trade and the balance when it comes to all that stuff. Um, but then like you can combine liberal and traditional in one based on the person and whatever y'all cool with. Like if somebody, if a female and a dude living together and they going 50-50, maybe it's better for them financially to do it like that. You just never know what people's situation is. So, I mean, I feel you, but the problem is most women would still have a problem with like submitting. They're like, oh, he's just my roommate. If I have to contribute, he's just my and, roommate. And I, don't, I feel like maybe submission should have a lot to do with who the man is and not like what he can, um, like character. They got a lot to do with it too, because if he a man who can like stand for something and you know what I'm saying? He say whatever he want and he do everything with his chest. And like, he is a firm believer in God. And like, he, he has his own way of, being and it's respectable that deserves su submission being you know submissive but i don't think it got nothing to do with the fact that y'all going 50 50 should it matter like i don't know you tell me you need to talk to the women see because most of them like most women especially these days they don't want to do anything they just want to be taken care of yeah see me I want to be able to do something too. I don't, I wouldn't want my dude to have all that stress. Like if it's anything I can do, then I'll do it. If you need me to pay for this or put this much aside for something, or you want me to go out and do this or do this for you or whatever, then that should, I, that's understandable. But I don't want to just, leisure is important, but I feel like a man, like y'all a team, so y'all should like act as such. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with being taken care of. I ain't, I ain't knocking nobody because that shit is nice. It's just personally, I feel more useful when I'm being useful. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't care how much money he got, like whatever small thing that like means a lot to him. I don't think it should be a problem. Iron my socks. You know? Do this. Fix this for me. Do this for that. Like, it's just. But at the same time, just know that I'm a person too now. And I am somebody too. I'm not just good for these things. Like, when I give you my opinion, don't fucking just act like what I got to say don't mean shit. I want to be heard. I want you to listen to me talk too when I got something to say. Like, don't act like I ain't nobody over here either. 
Because you can get somebody else to iron your socks. So a lot of dudes, like, um, we talk about how women feel like they're perfect. Like they... Who's, who said Let that? me finish. Let me finish. Like, women feel like they, they're they beyond talking to. Like, you ain't got to tell me nothing. You know, don't tell me nothing. I don't want to hear nothing. So I think it might be therapeutic for men to to observe a young lady who's willing to like address her flaws. So what are some things you feel like um, you're working on or that you need to work on to become that level of woman where like, you know what I'm saying? My Prince Charming is gonna, it deserves. Or do you feel like you're perfect just no, as you are? hell no, I okay. know I ain't perfect. I know I got problems. Um, some of them, I would say, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna say things I need to work on is being a better listener and my attitude. Those are like two main things I can I can for sure work on because because if if people tell you enough of something, then you might need to consider that like you might need to look in the mirror. So I ain't gonna lie, it's, and um, I'm just I'm growing still. I'm still learning. So, what you mean by your attitude? Because a lot of women say that, but like, what do you mean? Like, when you say that? sassy and shit. Like, I know I can just it just be the mood in that very in, in that very moment that'll make me just act a certain way. You know what I'm saying? I just can calm it down a little bit, just bring it down a few notches. That's all. Um. Because, like, three years ago, I can be like this, and this is what I believed in, and now fast forward to now, and I'm like, yeah, that wasn't the best way to be, so I need to fix that. So I'm just taking it day by day, but my attitude, being a better listener. Um. Oh, being defensive. 24-7. Being defensive, yeah, because sometimes, that's why I said being a better listener because it can actually um, tie into me being defensive because I might not have heard you. And I'm thinking that you might be, like, coming for me, but you got to, like, stop and be like, oh, he wasn't even trying to say it like that. My bad. So, yeah, being defensive, being a better listener, and my attitude. But everything else, I'm cool. <laughs> I know how to be submissive. I know how to be, I know how to lay back and chill and, you know, just let you do you. I know how to do all that, but mm, that that's just a whole different, that's a whole different topic. So, yeah. You have any uh, final words, final thoughts? What do you What do you think you should work on? Me today? personally, yes. Um, I'm constantly working on being a better listener. Um, mm. Patience. I'm constantly working on patience. It's funny. A lot of people like watch these videos and they think I'm really patient, but I'm not. I actually need to work on my patience yeah. too. Patient. And I think you are patient, so I don't know why you don't think you are. Huh. Thank you. Or maybe you just got a different way of yeah, handling your patience. Cause it might be that. If, yeah. I'm very impatient. When I need something, it need to be done within that millisecond. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I would say even like being more forthcoming. Because it's funny, I, I'm really good at getting information from people, but I'm not as good at sharing information mm. with people. Mm -mm -mm. So that's something I need to work on, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, yeah. That's it. That's the only thing you need to work on. No, it's a bunch of stuff. That's just what comes to mind. I'm getting my six-pack right now, you know, so. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> you tell me. What do I need to work on? I ain't saying shit. <laughs> All right. I ain't saying shit. <laughs>